Good morning from Puerto Galera, day two. Uh, today we don't have the motorbike, so as you can see we're walking out to the main road from our resort. We have to try and get a tricycle because this morning it's nice again, not as windy today, and we want to go for a swim. Morning swim. Morning swim. I'm rocking the Quicksilver. And some subscriber told me to buy Speedos. I think they were wanting me to wear the Y-front Speedos. I don't know why, but I picked up some Speedo shorts from the mall. So you'll see me rocking the Speedos on the beach. And Lai, what bikini are you rocking today? From Eight Mermaid. From, oh, so you really are a mermaid, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's try and find a tricycle to the beach and see how much it is. And we wanted to come down here this morning because the sun's out and it's so quiet, right? So we can really like relax and swim without the crowds. So that's pretty nice. And we still have a net. God, life is changing for me and lie on the beach. Exactly. We have a net Jollibee. We don't have Jollibee here, sorry. <laughs> so we live in a more healthy lifestyle here on the beach. Yeah. Only fresh foods. Only fresh, fresh foods. foods. Look at that for a little dry fish. <laughs> I went I went for the CC. Actually it was funny because as I was walking along there I said we're not eating anymore, we're being healthy and then lie after I finished said, are you hungry? And he, here we are, eating. Well done, babe. I got the pork, CC. Not bad. I prefer hot sauce anyway. I'm missing the spicy food a little bit. So we'll put loads of hot sauce over it. What's that? Sweet meat. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Yeah. Kinda nice. You wanna try? Mm. <laughs> 170 peso for the CC and for lies too. 170 peso. Hmm. Not bad. And then we'll go to swim. We have just finished breakfast and now. It's time to swim. Nice and hot here, eh? Right? Too hot, Lai? It's really hot. Huh? It's really hot. Because I'm here. You, you're kind of white, actually, for a Filipina. Yeah, because I grew up in Manila. You were hiding from the sun. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. I'm used to it. Some Filipinos are really white, if you notice. I've noticed, yeah. It's kind of a mix. Some, some are really dark. Yeah, and some are really, like... Oh no, don't be one of those. Today is just a chill day. We're not really going around doing anything exciting. Right? I kind of like this bikini. You're looking very good. Thanks, Eight Mermaid. Eight Mermaid? Okay, I'm leaving my flip flops. Hey, just video me a minute there. I want to. I want to show off my speedo. Come closer, babe. Like, can you go on that? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Just there. I want to show off my speedo swim shorts. Nice new swim shorts. Even though I've got a dad bod from all the food lies making me eat, we're going to enjoy the swim. Exactly. Let's go. You're taking them off? Oh. And I have to do a photo shoot for Miss Lie. What we're gonna do while we're having the morning swim today, Lai, is this. We're gonna talk about Puerto Galera and our opinions of it. So what do you think? What are you gonna say about here? It's nice here because it has white beach and Overall, there's a lot of options for food as well. Yeah, there is actually a lot of restaurants mm. along there, but overall would you say it's worth coming to again? Yeah, if you want to have 
quick getaway from Manila. Yeah. It's perfect. I, I would say that too. Mm -hmm. If you live in Manila for a quick getaway, it's like probably one of the nicer beaches you can go to, right? Exactly. It is definitely worth coming to to just relax on the beach like we're doing today. Yeah. For me, it's that's the vibe. That's the real vibe. It's the vibe today. Yes. Okay, live swim. <laughs> <laughs> Lai's still learning to swim. She's just trying to get more confident. There we go. See, you can actually float better in the <laughs> sea than the pool. You float better in the sea than the pool. The waves help you a bit, you know. Kick, kick. <laughs> Definitely a couple's getaway, I would say. Um, if you're a single dude, Kind of cool if you're into diving, snorkeling, you could come here, I would come here, but like two days would definitely be enough. We've spent a romantic three days here. Exactly. But it was nice, it was perfect it for us. Worth, yeah, it was worth it to see all the spot, like this white beach and some other beach you know, around for like two days. Exactly. That hidden gem beach was the best. Highlight yeah, of the me. trip. Yeah, for me as well, that's the highlight of the trip. The only thing guys about this Puerto Galera beach as you can see beautiful white sand beach but nowhere really to sit and no cover no shade no umbrellas so we've come to the end of the beach here and found this little spot and I found an old plastic chair that's broken that Lai is gonna sit on you can sit on that and then I can bring this wooden tree trunk over or the rock and we're just gonna sit here we're gonna chill and then just be going in and out the water some people are doing the banana speedboat thing over there very local the queen has her chair what would you prefer now though coconut or fruit shake yeah, me too. I'm, I'm actually a bit surprised no one's coming around selling fresh buco juice on the tourist beach. Exactly. Should be a lot. Yeah, but like, that's one thing that's nice as well. You don't get harassed here by anyone. I like it like this when you basically have the beach to yourself. I mean, look at that. Actually, comment below which islands are really worth visiting, guys. Um, I want to do a few island trips now the next few months because the weather's good, so... We want to hear your guys' opinion. Best islands in the Philippines, write it below. It's coming up to sunset. We're going to try and find another quiet beach to enjoy sunset. A walk away from our resort. How about the Sari Sari store? Um, they're overpriced. <laughs> overpriced Sari Sari stores. Um, this kind of novel, it's kind of 40 peso. Mm. It should be like just... Oh, is it? Okay. So, so it's more expensive here than Manila, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it seems to be. Okay, I think just off this main road we found a little place to go down. Be careful. Looks like there's a beach down there. So that's where we're going to go. We don't start to run. It also seems there's a lot of abandoned resorts around here. This seems to be an old abandoned resort check it out right there on the beach front you have some people also living here and check it out that would have been a nice house or a nice resort god knows what happened there look at this makeshift hammock out of what you call that tarpaulin sheets Oh, it's the other side. We have to go back. We should go back, I think. Yeah. We have to go there on that white sand. This white sand. So we've come, we've come off the road and found this little kind of abandoned resort. There's a few boats, pebbles, but that's where we need to go over there to the white sand one. Okay, let's go back to the road. We're walking in the 35 degrees heat trying to find the beach. We don't want to go down the wrong one again. We better to go a bit further. Mm. 
This is the little village. This is where people live. The tricycle drivers, obviously. Check out the little houses. The little village of Puerto Galera. Got houses up there. People are having siesta. Is it? Time for, for a siesta. Sure. For sure. Common here in the Philippines. Adopted from the Spaniards. Siesta. Oh, is that how you say it? Shista. Shista. Yeah. Siesta. Huh. Pretty quiet little village place. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the way. You have to go down through all the locals' houses down to the beach. Yeah, check it out. This is how the people's living in Puerto Galera. Very like little traditional huts like that but on the plus side they're right on the beach look at this we me and Laya come in the adventurous ways in Puerto Galera I've noticed that lie be careful don't fall I don't know if it's on the motorbike or by foot but we come the interesting ways is it gonna be worth it you guys are going to see for the first time also. Drum roll. Be careful. Hold my arm. Wow. Look at that. Made it to paradise again. We're finding the gems, guys. That's what I'm here for. To share with you guys the best places. Very windy. But you've got some nice rocks perfect we've got some shade the people's houses and over there look at that coconut trees one person swimming beautiful this is a hidden paradise. another hidden paradise what is it it's a filipino game go on then go on then Good shot, give me your slipper. My, I think your slipper is My turn. Ooh. No good. They normally play with this type of slipper. Filipino game, hit the can. Snacks. Picnic on the beach, right? Mm. It's really windy. I'm sure lies used to the Paradise Beaches at this point. Yeah, so nice. You, you're so spoiled in the Philippines. Have all this little paradise in Oh, fresh. The water's cold. Come on, mermaid. Frustrated mermaid. <laughs> oh, we frustrated. forgot to tell you, frustrated mermaid nearly drowned earlier. I had to go and save the day. Thanks to the Rio. Oh, it's cold, eh? So come on, Irish girl. <laughs> come on, Irish girl. What happened? Oh. Oh, Ooh, it's so cold. Cold. Fresh. She's just four, babe. She's four? Hey, Six. Six? Lai's got some new friends. Wow! They're teaching her how to swim. Go, swim. I kind of envy the kids life here, you know, they like can just come out of the house and they have this beautiful beach pool, they're living the dream without realising it. Most kids in our countries are stuck at home, iPhones, iPads, they're really living the dream in my opinion.
When sunset comes, we're gonna go over to this place and check out over there because it looks beautiful. The sun is right there, now it's going down. The kids... I can do that as well. Go! They're like little fish. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we found some new friends. Give me five. Yeah, yeah. Take care, fish. <laughs> See? What a life. We, um, today we had little province kids, <laughs> adopted children, teaching mom how to swim. Teaching mom how to swim. Fluffy sand. And as you can see guys, there's only like two other people here. Another beach to ourselves. Is the kids have gone away and we're just gonna try and enjoy the sunset right here. Right now. You spin my hair right now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Daily dose of lie singing. Sunset. We've just come out of the water, done a photo of this island. So beautiful, you can see all the coconut trees behind us. Pretty much no one here. Yeah. Wow. It's golden hour. Golden hour. Golden hour. We have to wait for the sunset. The sunset's beautiful, so we're gonna sit down, enjoy the sunset, go back to the resort, and get some pizza. He's just ordered pizza and lasagna. We're eating in the resort. And we're laughing because she's asking me, do I want rice? And I was like, yeah. And she's laughing and saying she doesn't want rice. <laughs> Why? Why don't you want rice? What's happened to you? No, it's just like, mm, I don't feel like having heavy meals. Oh, so you ordered pizza and lasagna. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. What are you doing already? <laughs> Lie. I'm filming the segment for the food. What are you doing? <laughs> Typical lie. <laughs> Here's the pizza. Oh, you're not the bread. Okay. We get the hot sauce as well. Thank you, thank you. I'll show you how to do the food segment like lasagna. <laughs> it took me minutes before I could. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Mm. Pizza, you know the rules. <laughs> You know the rules. We just went with the margarita pizza anyway. Nothing special. Bit of hot sauce. Mm. Pizza's good. We're just gonna finish the night here, I think. Good day on the beach again, followed by some good food. Good night. Ciao. <laughs>